Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Beverly, and it's lovely to see you today. In today's video we're going to be talking about Oracle of the Fairies. <laughs> Okay, so here we are with Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay, artwork by Ginger Kelly. Um, I pre-ordered these a while back, probably about six months ago, when Karen announced them on her Instagram, and I was so excited to get them. I can't even tell you how excited I was. I love Oracle cards way more than tarot cards, probably because Oracle cards you can kind of read into them a lot more intuitively and I love fairies. So on the back it says, fairies are magical beings who are guardians of the planet. They are the ultimate spiritual live environmentalists. They wish for everyone to tune into their ancient wisdom. The 44 cards in this deck will guide you to connect with the fairy world, to receive inspiration for your everyday life. Each reading will reveal positive and practical fairy insight which is directly related to your own energy. Come play with the fairies. So I absolutely love this. Um, when it came, I was so excited. I actually ordered two decks, and when I get to a thousand subscribers, the second deck will be included as part of the giveaway that I'll be doing. So definitely make sure you're subscribed if you're not already to be in with that. So when you open it up, you are met with these beautiful cards. Now I have had a little play with these because I wanted to be able to do a review and not just a walkthrough of the deck. Um, here's the book. It's quite a thick book really with extra insight onto each card as well as a couple of um, layouts to do and information about the card so it's quite a good little white book um, there's Karen herself I will leave a link down below sorry <laughs> I will leave a link down below to her Instagram um, she's an amazing person and she actually is the editor for this magazine that I am um, subscribed to that's how I found her on Instagrams because I started getting her magazine um, so it's a really great book that comes along with them. I love this with the keys, with the wings. It, it gives you that like really magical feeling. I love that. So let's put this to one side so we can have a little walk through. So each one comes with a picture and also a little something written at the bottom. So this one is Magical Gateway and it says, It takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forwards without looking back. I love things like this that give you a beautiful picture to intuitively read as well as a little something to read at the bottom. I find oracle cards just... Inc look at that. I mean look at the artwork on that. It's so beautiful. I honestly love fairies I have been I live in quite a magical kind of area I really want to do some um, some more about fairies on my channel these cards are gorgeous they bring a lot of nature nature spirits into them which I love the only downside I would say to these cards I don't know if you can see but they are shiny cards and I do find with shiny cards they are hard to shuffle. So when I did my reading, um, I've only used them once, but when I did my reading, although I got a lot out of the reading, at the same time I struggled to really shuffle them up. And so I felt a lot like, oh, is this the actual reading or am I just getting the cards in order because <laughs> they were stuck together in little clumps. And I always find that difficult. I much prefer matte cards for that reason. But a lot of, in fact, most oracle cards come with the shine on them. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Hope. 
Hope is always there even if we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. I just love these magical... I just love these really magical images. See, these are stuck together now. <laughs> these magical images, they just really make me want to go and use them in a field somewhere. <laughs> but I live in an area that's very much surrounded with farmers fields but most of the time they're quite muddy uh, or filled with crops so it's not really something I could do but I would love to do a reading in a forest or something like that it would be amazing look at that moon energy so yeah let me know because I know that a lot of people are drawn to different things I do follow a few people who do like tarot walkthroughs and things like that and reviews but a lot of the cards that they pick are quite dark in colour and I find darkness in a card they stuck together oh tree wisdom that's beautiful I do find dark coloured cards quite hard to read sometimes and I love how colourful these are. Is that something that you like in a card? Do you prefer oracle or tarot? I would love to hear more about the sort of cards that you guys prefer to work with. Um, I do love oracle cards. I find tarot, because every card has a specific meaning, can be quite hard to read sometimes. Um, because of my memory issues but that's more me personally that one is my favorite because it has an owl on it can you see that beautiful owl on there oh I love it um, yeah I love fairies and owls and nature I'm definitely a little fairy spirit witchy fairy spirit um, I've always been drawn to fairies um, so I love these cards. I knew I was going to love them the minute I saw them. On her Instagram I was like, I have to pre-order these or I'm going to forget. But they are just stunning. I mean, they're just so beautifully done. And I think they are drawings. Uh, they may be painted photographs, I'm not sure. But they are so beautiful. I just absolutely love the magic in them. If I could make them matte, I think they would be even more magically beautiful because they would be easier to shuffle. But other than that, I just absolutely love them. I think they are amazing. And the reading that I managed to do with them was just so spot on. I felt like immediately connected to these cards a few of them are quite stuck together um, and shuffling them is not easy but if you're looking for something magical to connect with something very much based in fairy lore based in the magical fantasy kind of and place I don't think you could pick any better than this set to be honest it comes in a lovely box as most cards do oh i did not see this so this says may you discover your fairy wings inside the sanctuary of your precious heart isn't that gorgeous i love when you get like little secret messages hidden about the place and this card uh, this um book of extra things for each card just really sold it for me I love that yeah I just really really enjoyed this so much um, if you would like me to do more fairy content if you would like to know more about fairies and how to connect with them definitely let me know by giving me a like leaving me a comment down there in the old um, comment section because as you know I just love talking to you guys and getting to know you all um, it just fills me with so much happiness and this deck is just so beautiful it definitely just brings so much nature and fantasy it's just beautiful it's a beautiful beautiful deck 
Um, I will leave an affiliate link down below in the description for this so you can order it easily. Um, the affiliate link, I will get some money for it, but it won't if you buy using that link. But you will not get charged any extra. It will be completely free to you. But um, any little bit of money will help me be able to buy more packs like this, do more reviews, that sort of thing. I am going to be doing um, book reviews and things in future, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around. I hope you enjoyed this. It's the first time doing a walkthrough. This was inspired by Wonder Fluffin. Um, she's an amazing spiritual YouTuber from Australia. I will leave a link to her down below. She inspired me to share like this. Um, when you watch her video, you'll be like, yes, very inspired. But um, yeah, she's a really wonderful person. So definitely go and check out her channel. Go and check out Karen Kay's Instagram. And don't forget to pick yourself up uh, a pack of her cards. These were bought by my own fair hand. I was not sent these in any way, um, not being paid to or sponsored. I just really wanted to show off this beautiful pack. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed this content. I'm hoping in the future to bring more book reviews and tarot cards and oracle card reviews to the channel. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to leave me a little cheeky like down below. And while you're down there, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ring that little bell so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. So I really hope that you will stick around and join the tribe. I hope you're having a lovely week ahead. I hope you're having a lovely day today and I will see you next time. Bye.